Hey, this is Ryan with Pro Trailblazer, and in this video, we're gonna learn how to make a mouth lip sync to an audio file. So here's what we're gonna be putting together. All up on the brakes and the riffs I bleed. Run a riddle statement from pavement streets. Living in the days where the pagans teach each. That's a rapping snail, and uh, I don't know if you noticed, but the mouth is moving just right here. All up on the brakes and the riffs I bleed. Run a riddle statement from pavement. It's good enough for this project. So like I said, it's not super phonetic. It's an open and closing mouth and it's what I needed. And I, uh, I surfed the internet looking for a solution in Cinema 4D that someone already figured out. All of them were antiquated and outdated and none of them worked with the 2024 version of Cinema 4D. So here's how you put it together without any additional plugins. Everything that's done here is just native C4D stuff. So let's get into it. Let's get this snail talking. All right, so first of all, uh, you're going to need a disc. So the disc can be found in the objects right here. Once you bring the disc in, don't need to make any changes to it other than taking it out of being a disc. So if you right click on it, make the current state to object and delete. And then you have a shape that you can change the size on. And that will allow you to open and close the mouth by changing the Y axis of the disc. So that's how you change it so it opens and closes. Next thing you need to do is rig it up so that it is working on its own. We want this to, to handle everything automatically. Rigging up a mouth and manually doing all the changes is a real pain in the butt. So uh, we need it to be automatic and to do so we can use a sound effector. So in the MoGraph section under Effector, we go down to Sound and select Sound and then make sure that the sound effector is a child of the disc. This wasn't mentioned in any of the tutorials that I was reading through or watching. It might be a, a new requirement for Cinema 4D, but this, I, I was stuck on this for a bit, but now I'm not. It's a, it's a child and it triggers the actual uh, change of the disc. So with the sound effector as a child of disc, what you wanna make sure to do is bring in a wave file into the soundtrack under the effector tab, make sure the strength's up to 100%, and then move this around so that it catches the, the tip of the audio here. So as you can see, it's not surfing the bottom, it's just getting the highlights. Those are all the times where the mouth should be open. So that's what you need right there. And then afterwards, the last little thing that you need to do is set up the parameters of what's supposed to be changed whenever it's triggered. And in this case, we're changing the scale of the Y value. So here I've got the Y value selected and I have it, uh, I have scale clicked. And what we are doing is going from uh, zero to three. So that opens it whenever it's triggered and closed when it's not triggered. So once you get that all set up, once you set up the sound effector, the parameters, make sure it's a child of the disc and the wave file is brought in. If you start the file and play, you should hear the audio and the mouth moving along to it. All up on the brakes and the riffs I bleed. Run a riddle statement from pavement streets. Living in the days where the pagans teach each day. Dropping bars. All right. That's it. That's the rapping snail lip syncing to some audio from splice.com. If you're into Cinema 4D and into all things digital creative, make sure to like and subscribe to Pro Trailblazer. Thanks a lot for watching. Three, two, one. Hey, this is Ryan with Pro Trailblazer, and I just got done making a rapping snail, and here's what it looks like. All up on the brakes and the riffs I bleed. Run a riddle statement from pavement streets. Living in the days where the pagans teach. I got it going. And now uh, and, and now the snail can rap. So how would I do it? Um, two items. One is a disc object for the mouth. So that's in objects and disc. And then you want to make sure to convert it to an object uh, rather than one of the uh, main shapes. And then you need to add a sound effector to it. So in the MoGraph section under Effector, select Sound and add that in as a child. Load up a WAV file. Make sure that the um, affected area is selected so you're just getting the top area of the WAV file. That's what's going to trigger it. Anytime it's empty, the mouth is shut. And anytime there's a lot of audio in it, the mouth is more open. So that's how you get that, that variability. And um, other than that, you just set up the parameters to uh, change the scale of the Y. So I've got Y set to three and I've got scale selected. 
And that should do it. That's all you need. You need a WAV file as an effector, and it's changing the parameters of a disk. I tried all the uh, Espresso solutions, and I tried a couple of third-party plugins. This ended up being the quickest and the most succinct way to do it out of the box with Cinema Studio 4D. So thanks a lot for watching. Make sure to like and subscribe to Pro Trailblazer, and I uh, hope it helped. Thank you.